Welcome to the channel that's inexplicably an experience. Welcome to the Steve Morgan experience. I'm Steve Morgan. This is my channel and this... Silly TV series that which wasn't about him. Uh, he's not a very great bloke, he's part of a reclaim party, races, digger, fucking idiot. But Lawrence decided it would be great fun in his garden on Father's Day to burn pride flags while screaming out child mutilator. Yeah, what an arsehole. But, uh, but the funniest thing was, these flags, they didn't burn because they were, spoke, they were anti flammable flags and he's there trying to burn these flags and it's just, it was fucking hilarious he's got John Mulder, John Mulder he's in the place but it's not burning most funniest thing I've ever seen but then again I suppose you can't out pop some of the uh, yeah. the other thing was his reclaim party awesome of reclaim party they decided they were going to put out a uh, a poll asking who was going to vote in the general election to their followers. Now, remember that's their followers, that's the people who follow them. They ask, are they going to, are they going to vote for Conservatives? Are they going to vote for Labour and Liberal? Or are they going to vote for the Crane or the Greens and all that lot? Guess how many they got in the poll? 2% and that was their own followers. Woohoo! That's fantastic! Uh, also, I don't know if you know this story, but apparently somebody identified as a cat in a store. It turned out it was a fake story and it wasn't real. But that didn't stop this story going on about it yet. With Camilla Tomine of the Tormigraph going on about going on very pompously how she how she sat by and got someone to talk what she was her daughter uh, uh, wrote the story and she said this is a very big thing, it's very important. This is something we've been saying is going to happen and we've been going on about it for ages, blah, blah, blah. Nick Ferrari nodding like an idiot. Yes, it was fake. Of course it was fake. Fuck off, Tom and A, you moron. Anyway, uh, so basically that's it for the show today. Oh, no, no, it's not. Hold on. I want to talk about, I want to make a special message to Lowly, Lowsy's Library. Hi, Lowsy. Lousy is a lily. Lousy decided to attack me on Twitter. She seems to think it was all my fault, so I'm going to give it my opinion right now. Now, trans people have a hormone imbalance once a month, the same as because the hormones are there to start the cycle of a, break, of a period. They don't have periods because they don't have eggs. They don't have menstrual cramps because they don't have eggs. But the brain sends a psychosomatic signal to them which gives them the pains. Most trans people know what this is and they're all right there. There's a few who are going on the line and going on about how they must be women because they have periods. 
One trans woman said, look, that's not true, you know it's not true, it's a psychosomatic condition. She said, come on, what you're doing is causing people to take the mickey out of you. It's, uh, when we're trying to explain ourselves properly, we're not being taken seriously because people like you are saying things like this. And, we're, and you're basically causing people to attack people. You're causing violence. You're causing... 95% uh, of violence has gone up with trans attacks. attacks. And uh, she's just saying, please, come on. Take this seriously, remember? Because of, because of, they're in a very dangerous time at the moment. Trans people are losing their rights. Let's not be stupid about this. And that's all she said. Apparently, she was denying this person's uh, own lived self or some whatever the fuck that means, some dramatic bullshit. No, she wasn't. She openly, we both, and neither was I. We both openly admitted that you get this condition. It is psychosomatic. That's an actual fact. You can't. If you want to deny facts because you want that person to be happy, then you're not a true ally. You're pathetic. And then you go on about when you attacked me, you did ashamed me, and you didn't look at my profile to see who I was. Even when we've spoken loads of times, and I've even got my I've even got found things when you talk about I talk about gender fluid, being gender fluid, and you liked it. So you're fucking a liar. But uh, uh, the worst thing is, but you didn't like the fact that I attacked you back, and I did and I messed about. The fact of the matter is, if you want to give it, learn how to take it. I, 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 I will not want it with a little apology and then it would have all been over. But you can't apologise. And that's the problem. That's why you scare me, because what you did to that woman, that trans woman, was horrible. It was disgusting. And I'm telling you right now, that we're going to stop that shit, because it's not right. Come on. Let's all stick together, unity and peace. That's what it's all supposed to be about. Not attacking each other over silly little things. I called that woman a bully. She was a bully. She, she, she started a pile on. But then, but there we go. That's enough of that rubbish. Let's go on with the show. Yo. Bully of the week. That's Brianna Gay. She's a trans girl who got killed just recently. Are you stupid? Oh, I didn't know she died. I just thought she was hot. Rubbish. You're an idiot and you are in the shit. Well, maybe it's a demonstration of how unfair the internet is because it's unfair as fuck. So how about this? I don't know. I didn't know. And you'll never get me below 7,000 followers, followers on Twitter. Yeah. Well, how about this? You didn't know, so why don't you just... You know, like, apologise. If I donate 20k to protect trans kids, is it fixed? I mean, you can do that as well, but I don't understand why you can't just be a grown man. And, you know, like, well, uh, apologise, yeah? Jasmine's Food Review. Welcome back to the Jasmine Morgan Food Review. As we have said, Jasmine is on strict terms to... Do better reviews. Are you ready, Jasmine? I want yes. proper reviews, positive reviews. Come on. All right. Um, this is British strawberries I'm trying now. That is amazing. Is it? Yeah. Really? Honestly. That is the one best fruit I've had. Since I was a kid. Okay, thank you very much. Bella Bella has come up with this idea, which is very, very good, darling. What I am going to do, darling, is to start a human patting zoo. Now, I hope it won't go as bad as the last human patting zoo I started when the vamp and rabbit went crazy, but you never know. Bella Bella, beautiful, no matter what they say. I feel like busting loose with bad jokes. When is a car not a car? What? When it turns into a garage. A lot of people say don't put additives in, in chicken and I sing Vaseline and Spur, my friend. You can't go better. Mmm, salty. Steve's Soapbox. Are you ready? Hi, welcome to the Soapbox. Yeah, this week, oh, this week. I'm saying, you remember last week I told you about that guy? <laughs> This is hilarious, right? 
he's gone online again. This is funny because he does a Doctor Who thing. Now, I love Doctor Who, so I like to watch Doctor Who stuff and anything which is about Doctor Who. But here's the thing. I watched his one and, my goodness gracious me, he's now having a go at somebody. This is, this is, this is an advert. I don't know if you've seen it. It's for a new Doctor Who, Who transmedia event. Now, that doesn't mean trans as in transgender. That means trans as in lots of... It's, trans, it's, go, it's going through lots of different media. So, in other words, it's going to be on books. It's going to be in comic books. It's going to be on video games. It's going to be on TV. It's amazing. This is a great opportunity for Doctor Who. We're pushing forward the boundaries here. But what does this guy get upset about? Uh, because this advert is just a bloke, it's just a woman pretending to be saying she's an assassin, dressed up quite coolly, and she's talking about being an assassin. And the problem is that the Doctor Who fans are getting really upset about it because they just gave it a random backdrop. They're trying to keep things secretive. So it's not even an advert, it's just a teaser trailer. But there are a group of fans out there who don't understand things like this, and they go, you know what? That's wrong, because if that looks disgusting, they started having a go at it. Fair enough, some people... The thing is, it's like the Sonic film. I don't know if you've seen the Sonic film. They changed the whole Sonic film and made him look different because the fans complained. The fans said they made that film better. They didn't. The film was hilarious. The film was fucking brilliant. It wouldn't matter what his face looked like because people would just get used to it because that would be the Sonic face. Just like Logan did not look like fucking Wolverine. It, uh, Hugh Jackman didn't look like Wolverine at the beginning and never did really, but he was still massive. Here's the thing, right? So this, they're getting upset by this. They're trying to make it change because they're thinking, oh, we can do a change. We can change the scenery. But people in Doctor Who are going, do they not realise that it's just a teaser trailer? That's not what the scenery is going to look like. And, <laughs> and they get upset about this and some of them take it on Suze Kempner. Now, Suze Kempner is a lovely person. I've been following her for years. I've had a few chats with her on the internet. She's a nice girl and she's a comedian and she's also a... She's a, what's the word? Oh yeah, an actress now. And uh, she's quite proud of this. She's very proud of it. And these people are blaming her. And it's like, what? She's just doing lines. And uh, one of them, actually the home box was filled with some very nasty comments about her being a trans supporter. And so she said, look, you all upset me because I'm a trans supporter. Now this guy, he gets upset with it. And he goes, oh, oh, you, she's a mis she's really horrible. Why is she saying this? Why is she making it about trans? L learn to understand that you're, you've been in something which is bad. No, she isn't in something that's bad. You can't tell it's bad because it's just one little trial. But apparently, <laughs> oh, oh, but apparently that makes it bad. Now, he put another advert up and it, about it again. And he was talking about it again. And I went, oh, yeah, this again. What's the problem? And he went, I'll tell you what the problem is. I'll tell you what the problem is, he said. The problem is that she's a miserable person and she's full of hate. How do you know that? Because of what she said. I, but, 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 you, what did you, what? So, because people wrote into her mention, mentions, that's what she's, then she must be a miserable person because she defended herself. Yeah. And I suddenly realised, it clicked at that moment that, some people just can't be reached. They're insane. Anyway, this is Steve Morgan. This is my show. Kiss my nose. I think they've owned me. They think they've owned me because they turned around and they said, Hey, hey, right. Ah, oh, Graham, Graham, Grant, 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 Grant. Sorry, Grant, Grant, Grant. They said, yeah, we, yeah, Let's face it, Grant. Your pathetic loser lives in a council estate. And I don't live in a council estate. I live in a bin, so fuck you. Thought of the day. Thought of the day. We all don't want to admit we're wrong because we are all the heroes of our own story. However, none of us realise that the cooler heroes all have a redemption arc. Didn't think of that, did you? That's why I'm here, to think of things that you don't. Ooh. Politics. My top ten, my top super tips in this week. Wayne Jason, Wayne, politics. It's really simple, right? The rich stay rich and the poor get poor. Because I'm rich, I've got lots of money, and I don't want the poor getting any more money. <laughs> so when people say, 
Ah, oh, Wayne, 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 Wayne. Look at that poor bloke, he's ill. He's in the bed and I go, oh, it's a shame, it's a shame. Ba -ba 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 it's a shame. But in reality, I think, get away from my fucking money. Geezer! Give me a chance. I'll sing along. Final thoughts. Oh, last word time. Okay, uh, it's been a busy week. I've been stressed. I didn't take my pills and I went mental at one point. I've had allies who I thought I could trust turn on me. You know you are. I've had uh, some nutty woman today just fucking going at me because I dared. I dared to say people, trans people can laugh at themselves. And this woman, wow, I, I disgusted her. She went at me for 20 minutes. Funny as fuck, because she really honestly thought she was pissing me off. I had to pretend I was pissed off at one point just to wind her up. I mean, yeah, okay. Just saying the same thing over and over again and saying, well, trans women and men is going to piss me off, mate. I just think it's stupid. I literally just took the piss out of you and you just didn't get it. Oh, my God, I'm excited because you did a video. Honey, I love the sound of my own voice in my face. Of course I did a video. Silly bitch. Anyway. <laughs> God, I'm so happy. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what's it to say apart from the usual stuff? Uh, look, I've, I've said this before and I'll say this again. The world is getting very dark at the moment and, and lots of shit is happening and we just got to all stand together. Ah. Uh, it's hard because we're divided as fuck, but I've got an idea, I've got a plan. I have a dream, a dream where we all can meet together. 
I'm not Gordon Press, honest. Uh, anyway, uh, so all I'm going to say is I uh, hope you enjoyed the show, uh, the usual stuff. Please like if you liked it. Please dislike if you disliked it. I love being told I'm crap. <laughs> Please leave a comment. Uh, if you leave a comment, join the comedy club or the comment club, sorry, the comment club of Ali Fraser and Lewis Coombs, both drunk idiots. Well, one's a drunk idiot and one's an idiot. Not sure which one's which. I think it won't be Captain Haddock. But uh, anyway, but they both love my music. Ali's a big fan of the band. Uh, what was the band's name again? I can't even remember. Slack Harry, yeah. Uh, Ali loves Slack Harry. If you've got any Slack Harry songs, uh, please send them Ali's way. He loves them. Also, you can subscribe. Please subscribe. There's, I'm doing a competition, right? I'm going to be counting all the new subscribers. And if I get to 100, right, what's going to happen is I'm going to give them a... Uh, I'm going to give them a surprise present. <laughs> it's not very good, but it's a surprise present. Or it'll be something or other. So I'm not quite sure. I've not worked it out yet. I'd probably give them a shout out. Yo! Or something like that. So come on. Do this. Until then, see you on the other side. Be a shi, 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 be a sh